Hey guys, it's RG the Awesome here bringing us our uh, week one team builder of the UBC offseason uh, against Marcos, uh, coach of the Chicago Murder. Um, you, as you can see on his screen, his team is Skarmory, Z Circuitry, Blissey, Tentacle, Slurpuff, Masquerade, Yobeltal, Lunara, Mega Agron, Garchomp, and Passimian. Um, right away, I see um, Yoveltal, Lunal, and Garchomp all naturally outspeed Kyogre. Um, so that's really worrisome. Um, because uh, here, I'll I'll just get to I'll get to my team and then take a look at his and then look more in depth at his team afterwards, so that I can explain why I'm worried about them. Um, so. Our first pick is Hercule the Giratina. Um, so looking at my team, going through all the counts, uh, all the mini variants of Garchomp, whether it be Life Orb, Swords Dance, um, Choice Scarf, all those, Choice Ban, everything. The only one that can handle it is Giratina, despite him um, being weak to Dragon. And the only way he can is by, uh, I, like, he can only live from full health. Like he only have two hits from full health. Um, Garchomp's just too too big of a threat uh, because everything else. Um, and I mean, if he's choiced, maybe Pretty Pixie can come in. Um, so if I if I do figure out he's choiced, I'm gonna uh, have Pretty Pixie as my um, uh, switching instead. But as of right now, my only choice right now is to Will the Wisp and Dragon Tail out. If he's swords, if he's swords dance. Uh, if he's choiced, I go in Pretty Pixie, and I figure it out from there. Um, but yeah, there's Hercule, max health, max defense. Um, not really just for the Garchomp, um, as it can also handle the Passimian and the Mega Agron. So um, if he brings any of those, we can handle him. Uh, anyways, next up we have Tsunami the Kyogre. Um, who is our MVP this week? We like this is our win condition. If we lose Tsunami, we pretty much lose the entire game. Uh, Choice Scarf um, with Water Spout, Thunder, Ice Beam, and when its health gets under uh, gets lower, we can start using Origin Pulse. Um, that this is this is the main reason why I'm scared of Yveltal, Lunala, and Garchomp is because out of his entire team, they're the only ones that naturally outspeed. Of course, I have to be uh, worried about Slurpuff as well if it's already gotten the boost. But I'm not going to just bring in Kyogre against the boosted Slurpuff, who's like the un unburdened boost. Like that's crazy. I also have to worry about Masquerade and its webs. But um, I feel like my uh, no, I guess not really my entire team. Like I I'll. I, I do have a spinner on the team. Of course, he does have Lunala, so I have to get rid of that first. But I have quite a bit for Lunala. Um, so, we'll see how that works. Uh, anyways, next up we have Pretty Pixie, the Sylveon. Um, Max physically defensive because of Psy Shock and because Yoveltal can also be ran physical. Um, so, this way he can handle both of them. Like whether or not they're like whatever their set is. Um, I of course wish to get into Hercule after taking a hit from Guard Jump and then the rest of them as well. Uh, toxic to weaken the uh, to weaken all the Mons and then Heal Bell to well heal my Mons from um, Toxics and stuff like that. It's just in case like you get something like Toxic sp Toxic spikes up and I have to like switch into another Mon. Uh, it's all it's all for that. Um, and then our next pick is Night Ninja the Weavile. Um, quite frankly, I do not like uh, Z Weavile. I really don't. Um, I ran all the calcs, and Z Weavile is just isn't very good, like at all. Um, depending on how the rolls go, I can kill the Skarmory. Uh, but if I get a low roll on the ICMZ, I'll have to swap out, and it'll be a waste of a Z move because this Pokemon is a terrible Z captain. Um, I mean, if it, if it works out in the battle, I'll keep it, but if, if not, then I'm probably going to swap to Paladin, because Paladin probably will hit a lot harder uh, with the Z-move besides Weavile. Uh, but really, the only really good Z-mon I have is Kyogre, but, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, next up, we have Rusty the Fortress. To get up the rocks, to get rid of uh, Lunala's ability, I forget what it's called. Um, to get rid of the rocks and get rid of uh, the sticky webs uh, for Kyogre. And then I also have Volt Switch because Lunala, it being the uh, spin blocker, I can Volt Switch on him, play some head games. Like, is he going to Volt Switch this time or is he going to Rapid Spin? And hopefully I can get a rapid spin off on a not switch out, and then I can full switch on all the time when he does switch out. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I also want these stealth marks up a lot for the Lunala and the Yavel Tall gets really hurt by them as well. Uh, but mainly they're just there for the Lunala. Um, because uh, with Lunala's ability, you can actually live a um, water spell in the rain, and I don't want that. If it after stealth rocks like broken its ability, um, then we're good. Then we are kid. As long as it's not choice scarfed. And then I gotta figure something else out. Anyways, our next pick is Paladin the Escavalier. Um, he's mainly here to just take hits from, you know, uh, not your Veltal, uh, the other one, Lunala. There we go. <laughs> um, Drill Run for the uh, Tentacruel knockoff for the Lunala because that's going to hurt a lot. And then Iron Head for Mega Horn. Iron Head Mega Horn for just some really powerful stab. Um, this mon is really powerful. Like, I took this team testing in Ubers and got three sweeps. Because <laughs> under the rain, a scabular just cannot be touched. And with this uh, Assault Vest, he's even harder to kill than usual. Um, like, dude, this thing is amazing. I, 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 I actually really, really enjoy a Paladin. Um, another thing about Rusty and Paladin is they are here for the Slurpuff. Because uh, even with a boost, Rusty can live a hit, go for Dryerwell, and kill a Paladin. Um, he'll need to be at a, a lot more health, and you know he'll, and then the Iron Horn will kill. But he'll have to be at more health than Rusty would be to live a um, plus four Drain Punch. I think is the best thing that it gets because it does not get Fire Punch. I, I made sure to check for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, looking, looking at Steam. Uh, Skarmory really walls Weavile, which is why I wanted to bring the ICMC, uh, because depending on how the rolls go, I can take that out in one hit. Uh, if the rolls happen, oh well. Uh, Z Circuitry is a little scary, but I think I, I, think I can cover it with uh, Giratina, Escavalier, and um, Sylveon. They can all come in and handle it really well. Um, and then... Blissey is <laughs> Blissey is a wall of disgustingness that can easily easily wall our choice scarf Kyogre, so we will need to f uh, get rid of that thing. Uh, that and Tentacle, Tentacle and Blissey are the only things that can uh, live multiple hits from Kyogre, so I'll need to work on those. Um, Tentacle is a bit more worrisome because um, all I really have is Drill Run on Paladin. But, um, if I can call things right, I can thunder it, and, um, unless it's, uh, Assault Vest, um, Water Stomp's still gonna be doing a lot of damage. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. And then Slurp Puff, I'm not worried about it at all. I, I'm legitimately not worried about Slurp Puff. Um, because, like, so, looking at the team, the only ones you can come in on are Night Ninja and Pretty Pixie because Tsunami will blow him back with Water Spout. I can burn him with Hercule, so uh, he won't be doing nearly as much damage. And then afterwards, I'll switch into Rusty, which that's what I'll do with Pretty Pixie and Night Ninja. Is switching to Rusty, who will blow him back with Gyro Ball. Um, so I'm not really, I'm not worried about Slurp Puff. Uh, Masky Rain. Um, originally, I had a Rock Slide on Rusty. <laughs> But then I realized I'm going to be going in there to take to spin away the rocks, not to destroy it. Um, and Volt Switch will still do a lot of damage because Masquerine is not very bulky at all. Um, and then I think like everything here can pretty much really, really hurt the Masquerine. Um, Masquerine is not taking an Iron Head pal Paladin. Um, Volt Switch is going to hurt. Uh, Icicle Crash will take it out. Maybe even not, probably knock off. Pr knock off will probably kill. Hyper Police, even though I have no uh, offensive investment, is going to be completely blown back by Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Thunder, or Ice Beam. It's just done for. And then Hercule. Uh, Her Hercule is the one I need to worry about with the Masquerine, but uh, 
Yeah. So besides Hercule, I have no I have no real fear of a mask you're in because I can take it out and after I take it out I can spin it away. Of course I'll have to be I'll I'll have to play those mind games with Rusty. Um but yeah, so that's that's really how the team is. Um Alright, I, I need to go to the others. Crap. Um <laughs> Yoveltal. I'm sorry guys, this is early in the morning when I'm recording and it's just I'm still I'm still like not hundred percent awake. Um Yoveltal uh is pretty worrisome. Um if it's choice scarf, I can outspeed the uh Kyogre. I, I, I think he gets Sucker Punch, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Like I checked and I'm like ninety-nine percent sure it got Sucker Punch. Uh again it's really early in the morning, so I don't remember. Oh man. Um, and then it can do a lot of damage to Hercule. Uh, of course, really the only thing we got is Freddy Pixie. However, unless it's scarfed, the vial does uh, revenge kill easily. Uh, with the Icicle Crash, we have no real reason to worry after we get in there. Of course, there's always the Skarmory, which is why I need notable rolls. Notable rolls, and I can, I, I can take out the Skarmory with a knockoff ICMZ Icicle Crash. Um, so hopefully that works. Uh, the Lunala is a really, really big threat for my team, especially the Choice Scarf, because, um, like, even Pretty Pixie isn't taking a whole bunch of hits. Like, really, it's just Paladin that's going to be ha that's gonna have to tank some hits. Uh, and if it runs HP Fire, we'll be in a bit of a uh, jam, beca uh, because it can, really, it, can ha it can handle Garatina. If it's Scarf, it can do damage to the Tsunami, so I'll have to switch to Origin Pulse, which won't be as strong as Water Spout, but will still do a lot of damage. Um, I mean, and then it has Moon Blast for Night Ninja, so there's that, and then HP Fire just destroys these two. Um, however, I can live in HP Fire with Assault Vest, so I can live in HP Fire, knock off, it's dead. So hopefully that works. Um, <laughs> of course, I'll, I'll, I think I have to be at full health, because I don't think I live very well. Um, Mega Aggron, I'm honestly not too worried about. I mean, it'll have Fire Punch for, uh, it'll have to run, it will have to run Fire Punch for, um, Estabrin and Rusty. Uh, Night Ninja is not doing, uh, too much. I do have Low Cake for it, so if I can get it low enough, uh, Night Ninja could, uh, do something that, uh, Pretty Pixie is literally doing absolutely nothing. Um, Tsunami can, uh, destroy it in one hit. Uh, but Hercule, it can just... Like, no, they cannot touch Giratina at all. Willow, Dragon Tail. If I if I Dragon Tail, and it's just gone. Um, and like once I will risk it, it's really not too too much of a threat. Um, so that's you know easiness. Uh, Garchomp and Passinian. I already spoke. I already spoke on Garchomp because Garchomp just manhandles my team. Um, like I will be genuinely surprised if he does not bring Garchomp. Um, and then past Simeon, really just gets walled by Giratina, destroyed by Tsunami, walled by Pretty Pixie. Um, Levi will have problems with it, but Rusty can take a hit easy. I can set up my rock, I can spin him away, I can Volt Switch, whatever. And Paladin's not going to take too much of a hit either. I don't know if it gets Fire Punch. I should, I probably should have checked before uh, building Team, to be completely honest. Um, but honestly, why would I not go into Caratina against it? Like, there's, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely check like during the battle if he brings it, but I really don't see him. You really don't see him bringing Pest Indian, not at all. But um, with that, guys, uh, I will, have to, I will catch you guys later. I hope you. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me, let me, let me finish. Oh my goodness, I need to stop recording early in the morning. Um, so. Obviously, by the time I'm recording this, our battle has already happened. Um, and no, by the time I upload it, sorry. Um, so uh, the battle will be up the day after. I believe this is going up on Saturday, and then our battle will happen. Uh, will will be uploaded on Sunday. So check that out tomorrow if you're watching it on the day it's coming out. Anyways, you guys stay awesome. I know I will. Jeez, I really am super tired, and I'll see you next time. Well, if you if you can't stand the fishes, get out of the lake. <laughs>
Like, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen, but we're not playing with heat, we're playing with fishes. Playing in the fishes. Alright, yeah, that's good. Boom! Back on track, got the mojo back. It was all because of that. Cat doesn't really rhyme. 